So, hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Where hopefully everything is working, apart from our Ran shield being stuck through his chest, which looks quite uncomfortable. Has uh, had a few interesting graphics notifications and it's been a little while since I've played. So, always a worry that something funny is going to start happening. The last I remember, we'd recently made our way to Boomer. And we're here basically to sell crap off to the Thieves Guild. We leveled up. We're going to try not to die horribly because sunshine. I don't actually know what time of day it is. It's just dawned on me. It is the evening. Oh, let's not do that. And, uh, yeah, being the evening, it's still too light for us to really go outside without facing pain and suffering. The big question is, how much stolen goods have we got to sell off? So let's have a quick look at the old inventory of what we can sell off. I mean, there is the RT, we're wearing that, but we probably shouldn't be. So, excuse me a second, we're just going to nip out the way and put some clothes back on. Um, oh yes, that's right, we managed to lose a lot of our good armour, didn't we? That is a shame. The boots of the eel will be a nice sale. And of course we've got the apron of the Master Artesian, which I'm not sure I'm actually going to sell because I don't think I'll get very good money for it. Uh, there's probably a few other goods in here which are robbed we can sell off. But it is limited, so we may have to uh, do some robbery about town to make up our robbery requirements. We also could really do with levelling up and finding a way to deal with our serious sunburn. Ow! And I'm over encumbered because of the sunburn. This is not good. So we'll take a quick little wait here. And hope that, say, what was it last time? It was about 8 o'clock, wasn't it? That, that uh, we stopped getting our face burnt off. Um, this vampirism is hurting quite a lot and we need to sort of find a way to deal with this. Well met. Oh, well met to what you as well. Now? Come on. Oh, it's, wait, it's still not time yet, is it? It's a whole seven minutes till the sun goes down. Come on! It's you. Hi. Oh, hi. It is me. We may as well what rent the room for tomorrow for? while we're at it. Um, can we have a bed? The bed is quite luxurious, is it not? Oh, it's delightful. I, I, take, is... I take it it's still hired, then. That's fantastic. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Um, maybe. If that was cheap to restore health, we we're, were rather short on coin. I had forgotten just how short on coin we are. Um, potion-wise, what, what did we, we made some potions at the end of last time. I mean, ah, uh, we have got Ease Burden, but we can't cast it. Fantastic. Um, what do we make in the way of potions? Anything that could ease burden, perhaps. Um, potions, 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 potions. Where are you? Uh, damage health? Dispel? Anything that makes us healthier? Not really. No, we end up using a lot of that to get out of dodge, didn't we? Um, which is a shame. We've not got that much to make, um, what you call it, restore magic potions either. I mean, we've got, we got a couple. We can make some meat shakes, which is always a good thing. Um, we'll select that one. We'll select that. So we'll create one of those. Yep, we're out, so we'll take the venison. And we'll create a couple of meat shakes. 
Oh, you wonder how much uh, we're actually above our carry capacity when we get hit by sunlight. Ah, we're not melting now. Fantastic. Woohoo! We're going to live. Sort of. In our dead. Greetings. Walking corpse kind of way. Um, blood? Uh, let's have a look in here because we're looking for some chap called o o Lau or whatever he's called. What was his name? I didn't have too much time to hunt around for the guy last time. Um, we noted him down in our diary. What was what was his name? Um, that was the Bank of Zerudo. Unfriendly competition. No thieves. Independent. Ongar. That's it. Ongar. There we go. That gentleman. We need to find Ongar. Um, yeah, where the hell is Ongar? I'm not surprised. I mean, despite all the times I've played this game, I don't actually know where Ongar is, which is Take good because we're in role. We're kind of in character because Arvan would have no idea where Ongar's house is either. So it's keeping us in character, the fact that I don't remember anything. Um,. But we will, as he's not in his house, and he wasn't in the Gerald Inn, there seems to be an inn here, so we'll try this one, which seems to be more of a um, disreputable inn. Still, there, there's no one here in this disreputable inn either. Head on. Hello. 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 You're very jolly, what sir. What can I do for you today? Um, you you do beds as well. I've got a room, and a cheap one at that. You're looking for one? Uh, how much is it? You All didn't right. tell me. Yeah, you I say it's cheap. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. But you don't tell me how much it is. We're not picking up the garlic. That's a bad plan. Good journey to you. Yes, good journey to me. Yeah, we, we. I'm hungry, but I'm kind of hungry for something else. Plus, that would help restore some of my magic. No one's actually well, going to be sleeping yet. Not enough to uh, go and munch on. Um, what else have we got? We've got a fighter's guild. I think we did look in here, didn't we? Did anyone do quests? Uh, no, you're just a... Go hurt something. How like a... Yeah, these are all just like guys for hire. They don't have anything good. Skirta is a nuisance. She was running around town, drunk and naked again. Sounds fun. Go to it. May your kills be quick and many. Good. Yeah, at least you look relatively intact. Apparently, Right Wind teaches his blade skills to other Fighters Guild members. Does he? He... Oh. Bye. He might be able to teach me something, but I'd, for that I would need money. And therein lies the problem. Hello? Go to him, choose. So far, all we've done is run Savage Burns on the Fighters Guilds. I mean, there's a steel dagger there. It's, you know, we're not talking big bucks, but we're talking something. Well, we'll grab one of those. No one will ever know. A silver short sword. That, I'm definitely more interested in. Have I got a silver weapon? I think I had, I've got a silver short sword now. And I had a silver long sword. So the short sword does similar damage, but weighs a lot less. So that might be worth considering in keeping my weight happened? level down. Absolutely. Because carrying capacity definitely seems to be the age-old issue, as most R RPGs now. Hello. Bye. Take care. To what do I owe this Raylan pleasure? Does? Have you uh, heard I, I, I missed. They say that Daedra came from oblivion and burned the whole city to the ground. They say. 
I'd, lo I'd love to rob that, but I can't. Heard any news from, from the other provinces? No, not at all. There's some foes there. I mean, those are not really our van's thing, though. He's more of a weaponsmith. It was our trade, after all. Let's check back in here, see if um, Ongar has shown up. No, let's Hello. check back at his house and yes. see if he's shown up. This seems to be a bit of a wandering episode. The Looking Emperor around for, and his three sons for Olaf. Dead right under the noses of Ungar, the not Olaf. Ungar, Ungar, Ungar. Come on, Ungar. It was very easy. That would be doable. Ungar, where are you? I mean, I don't want to rob Ungar, but it's tempting. I mean, could always just break into Ungar's house, see if he's there. I mean, we are the Thieves Guild after all. Uh, we can open an easy lock now. And, like so. Hello, Ungar! I see you are with the Grey Fox. Do you need a fence? Well, was it? The um the chap from Imperial City let you know, or um was it the fact that I broke broke into your house? Um, can you tell me about Boomer? Anything useful? Anywhere nice to liberate some goods? Bruma is a perfect town for a Nord man of leisure. Bracing mountain air, good food and drink, and lively Nord fellowship. Okay, that was less helpful. Yes, yeah, some some some, peop some people were talking about this Relandrellas. Anything interesting there I can get involved in? Yes, the vampire hunter. Oh. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Did he? Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Rainil slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Brayden to be a vampire. Yeah, he seemed well. to be such an likable fellow. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. They're uh, walking around everywhere, though. Who would know? Apart from smoking in the sunlight, I guess. Huh. Did you ever hear about the ghost of Lord Vlindrell? They say he haunts the road to Coral. Not that I've ever seen him myself, mind you. I did not see any ghosts on my way here, but I did not come from Carl. Uh, what about finds a bounty? Armand Christoph and Striva have special arrangements with the guards and judges throughout Cyrodiil. They can make all your outstanding warrants go away for only half the price of the fines. Ah, good to know. Armand Christoph was the guy I was thinking of earlier. That was that was the chap. You got some hot property. I've probably got some stuff I could do with selling. Actually, before we get into that, let's see if we'll we can uh, butter you up a little. You like that. You don't like that. Yeah, okay, with uh, boasts and admiration. You don't particularly like being coerced either. Um, so we'll do the Not joke. Funny. Not even a really? Oh, I should have done that. Oh, oh that was, what oh, a wonderful dear. compliment. Oh, dear. Is that so? Goodness, Rim, you're revolting. Let's, um, uh, what a great, really, yeah, we now. can do this. You're, <laughs> oh, please. No, I wish I could not fun. You're wasting. What together. a wonderful compliment. Is it? Was it? Is that so good? Really? Get away from me. Well, you're good. At least you're a bit yeah, more friendly my now. My favorite customer. What do you got? Really? I've never sold anything to you yet, but it's good that you're more cheerful about things already. The Blackwater Blade. I, I don't remember if I need that for a quest or something, but I'm going to sell it. Let's see. I wonder... I wonder, wonder, wonder. 
Oh, what I can get out of you, you're a journeyman. Isn't it novice apprentice journeyman? So you're probably actually quite good. Let's see. Um, let's start with something small. See if I can sell you uh, something small like this. I can't make that. Uh, apparently not. What about? I this? think I can move this item for there you at go. that price. Got anything else? Yeah, we got a couple of emeralds. We You've can sell. made a good bit of. Now uh, we'll keep the lock pick. We've got a lot of repair hammers. I mean, mm, I'll sell off the wolf pelts even well, that though. That seems a fair price. You know, he's not the right guy to sell them to, but we can sell them to him anyway. Because we've got twenty of repair hammers, which is twenty kgs. Tempted to just sell a few of those. Just just to get rid of the weight. And I need to find more stuff to steal. You can sell one of the I Tesla think I can move this item for you at that price. Got anything else? Um yeah, we'll probably keep the invisibility. That could be useful. The tech life I can make. The rest of it I think I'm gonna sell off to you. Uh, the potion of invisibility may definitely be helpful from time to time. Because these are all detect life of one sort or another. Restore agility. Resist fire. Dispel. I mean, I can probably sell some of the spells, even though I... Again, I might find someone else to sell those to. Let's see. And sell off this nice blue outfit. Um, yeah, we're not going to sell that because you haven't got enough money. But the boots of the eel. I mean, definitely made a sell good that bit off. Of sell that I off. think I can move this item for. And sell off this lady's necklace. Um, we got a whole stack of armor which we can sell legit. Which we may get more if we sell it legit. Uh, we'll sell I off think these I amulets. I think. Fine. And the jeweled necklace. Of course, the backpack we're keeping. We'll sell off the hot small backpack and then we'll see if we can sell these other two legit for a bit more um, and the same for the swords and the blade I mean we're definitely getting a bit more for the blade here but that will do I'm for glad now. that's done I need a nap <sighs> the biggest issue of course with selling legit is melting which I'm not thinking about shadow hide you hmm that could be a problem. Oh, I've I've reached my goal. I've fenced over 50 gold. Yes, I have. I've fenced 400 and something. I should go see Armon sometime. He might have something for me. Yes, I'm kind of keeping away from the Imperial City right now. So how much carry capacity has that left me with? Oh, joy. Not a vast amount. Um. Hmm. I may be looking to sell off those other heavier items. But unfortunately, I Greetings. don't think the smiths exactly will still be open. I think they'll probably be closed. Because 8 o'clock, you know. And, um... Hi. Hmm. This is definitely going to be a difficulty. At the moment. It seems like Ongar is our only way to make money. So I think Ongar is probably going to be the person that we sell something to anyway. Um, we might be able to sell a bit of the weight to him. And then see if we can pick up some other goods throughout the night and fence them up. I mean they are legit but I guess his prices weren't that bad. I don't really have a fast amount of choice. So I guess we're going back to. I'm really Ongar. tired. Can we get on with this? Yeah, sorry, bud. Um, yeah, my favorite customer. Turns out. What do you got? I'm probably gonna need to get rid of some more stuff to you. I'm gonna sell you this one. For a sure. good price. And the steel dagger. And. Of course, I occasionally wear the blue robe, but not anymore. Um, I guess I'll sell you 
for the britches. No, I'll, I'll keep the britches because if I wear, if I do happen to wear that apron, I need something to cover me butt. Um, so we'll get rid of these because this is heavier items. Small backpacks. They don't actually weigh anything. So. Hmm, I could hold on to them because they don't weigh anything. So what is most of my carry weight at the moment? Obviously there was quite a bit in the swords. I mean this sword is quite heavy in itself. That's I think I can move this item for you at that price. Thank Got you. anything else? Um No, I don't think so. Da, 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 da. I mean, I've got quite a lot of bits like that which are stolen, but it's a fair, they're not worth selling, are they? I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. Okie dokie. You have a nap, my friend. Um, do you mind if I just quickly repair my armor? Oh, I got the Blade of Woe, but I can't actually. S Can I sell the Blade of Woe? It didn't come up as. Sellable. Uh, didn't the Blade of Woe come from... Yes, didn't um, the Blade of Woe come from that, that, that bloke who came and found me? Um, current quests. Seeking roots, paranoid, vampire cure, pilgrimage, blah 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 blah. Yes, glasses. A knife in dark voice. Yes, this guy. I was visited by Lucien Lechance. Who wanted me to kill someone very specific. But, um... I... Can't be doing that at the moment. Discover that... Brydon Lyrian, or whatever he's called, a resident here in Boomer, was actually a vampire. He was slain by a vampire hunter. Yes, he appeared in the town. Yes, I remember this. This, yes, this was five minutes ago. And my brain's already forgotten it. I should investigate the crime. Oh, I'm sure. Right. Now we should have a little bit more carry capacity available. Yeah, about 100. We need to see if there's anyone else we can rob. What's the time? 11pm. Maybe we'll wait around for another hour or so. And see if we can to find... Someone to rob. I mean, a lot of these houses here seem relatively easy to rob. Oh, this is one big house. I like this. We'll just go back here and repair our armor a second. Because that's not going to hurt, is it? No one's going to hear it, of course. Oh, wrong button. Yes, repair. Armor skill increased. That will also lighten our load a little. So we will wait here for an hour and knock in a quick save. I've just realized I've been forgetting to do that and we all know how Oblivion likes to crash. Yes, there's a few, there's a few places here we may be able to find something interesting in. I am, of course, going to have to eat one of my um, magic potions for that. Needs a key. That house is for sale. Probably nothing worth robbing in there. Broiland's house. That wasn't the guy who got murdered. No. That's out of my uh, abilities. It is Mage's Guild. Hmm. And the Fighters Guild really doesn't seem to have anything for me. Which is a shame. I was hoping for the Fighters Guild to be able to at least give me some sort of quest to earn money. But it looks like... Um, ah, this is... Biden's, this is the guy's house who was, so say... A vampire. Holy moly! You're going to have to leave. 
This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Drellis, will be allowed access. That's, that, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, I was stupid enough to walk in here. A culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. Is it? I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Well, you see, I am a bit of a talker. Yeah, I've heard of him. Isn't he a soldier or guardsman in the Imperial City? Yeah, apparently he's a bit of a nice guy. Very, very efficient. He's that thief that the Imperial the Watch folks? are always going on about. He likes to steal from rich folk. Yes. Um, we'll you see. sound like you need a little buttering up, so maybe we can butter you up a little. You like admiration, you don't like jokes. And you like a boast, by the looks of it. I wish I could st really now. Not you're wasting there your we go. breath. Um, uh. Good. I wish. Ugh. You can't scare me. Uh, apparently not. I wish you're. Is Let's what try that again. a wonderful compliment. Indeed. Get. Up. You can't scare. Oh, that really was awful. now. You're such a charmer. You I know. What a. What? Not funny. Not oh, even a little yes. bit. Speechcraft Goodness. increased. What? what? You... Is that so? Yeah. You're good. As you now like me, hey, sir, sir, you like me, um, will you tell me about Raylan Drellis? I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Of course not. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Drelis, we may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. Okay. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for Fair us, Rainel arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Raiden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, yes. Raiden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you, so you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. That's okay. That's interesting. You, you still have more to say on the matter? I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Yeah, sounds like some someone I might want to keep away from. Can you tell me more about him? As far as I know, he was a good man. I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so... I guess so they sense. say. So they say, sir. Feel yes. Free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. I, I will. This poor fellow. Repeated tampering with Braden's corpse is a crime and will alert the authorities. Okay. Let's not do that, then. Please leave me be. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just having a quick look around. Okay, sorry? Perhaps I can help I you? I can't believe this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Calm down, dear. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. Hmm. This is all happening so fast. Yeah, it probably happened fast for him. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my brain dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Okay, so we're Some with city dark watch elf. were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Drelis. 
He said he was a vampire hunter and that Raiden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. Really? The guards sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carius that Brayden was a vampire. Yeah, the evidence well, of doesn't look good. it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Brayden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. Right. Well, I mean, the body looks fairly bad, but you're right. Even though if the guy came in during the day carrying a body to stash in your basement, people would have seen him carrying a body through town, no? I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and okay. make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. That's not very helpful. Someone needs to get Skiorta under control. You'd think Olfand would be the one to do it. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what you're I talking know about I sound there. I desperate, but I know I'm right. So can I check out your basement? A second. I mean, what's the time? We're we're burning time here on our, on our robbing spree, but um, seeing as there's guards here, we need to probably try and look legit. Murdered beggar. Afraid of those animals, blah blah blah. Nothing particularly exciting. Anything for some health? Oh, uh, that's fortify health. That's no good. Um, virtue of a thief? Nope. Okay. Nothing particularly. Wrong. Alluring gaze. Oh, you know. Who says it was there earlier? I don't know what they're talking about. Hmm. Ghoul. There is a ways of opening this easy chest. I'm gonna need a bit more um, magic power anyway. But if I ate someone, I could probably get away with it. Is the problem? So, oh, really? Uh, screw it. I'm gonna use it, and we're gonna open this chest. Come on. Eh. Uh. Okay, not worth a lot, but I'll take it. No one will know. Nothing happened. Oh, hello. No, I didn't find it. Well, of course I'm back. I went down to the basement. Hello. Idiot. No wonder the guards are so stupid in this place. So, anything else? Very easy. These shacks are quite small, so I'm... I don't know why I'm tempted by this house. But uh, there's quite a few houses here. But I do like the idea of the bigger house that was down here. Bigger house, more stuff. That's my thinking. Bigger houses, more stuff. Let's make our way in here. See if there's anything worth laying our hands on. Plus... Of course, the other thing is, we should probably not be doing this in our armour. Because it doesn't help with our sneaking, but, uh, you know, you can't just jump in someone's house and then take your armour off, can you? It's not how it works. Come on, this is hardly the savage burn of Bruma I had in mind. You know. Uh, wonk. And the... This is nothing of interest. Most of it. 
is absolute rubbish. Any repair hammers I'm picking up here. There's, there's no one even sleeping in here. Um, that's still mace. That's worth 40 gold. I might as well take it. And another curious. Some leather gauntlets. And an iron heart, helm. It's not vast stuff, but it's probably stuff I can ship off to Ongar in a pinch. Ooh, a steel shield. Fairly heavy, but probably an upgrade over my current shield. Because currently I have an iron shield. So a steel shield would probably be much better. We'll keep with the we'll just unequip both for now. So we don't look too conspicuous with carrying around a steel shield. Hmm. We'll be conspicuous later. That house was remarkably disappointing. What about this house? Brooch Cassius house. I don't know how oh no. Hi guards. Well met. I haven't found out anything about the murder yet. But I am checking into it. I'm looking around to see if there's any vampiric activity. Still. Sneaking skill. Stepping softly, hiding in the shadows, you do everything in your power to remain undetected. You have become a journeyman of sneak. The weight of your boots no longer affects your ability to remain undetected. Oh, that's good. That's good. I could do with eating this beggar. Hopefully no one will notice. Can I feed briefly on the beggar? There we go. Uh, uh, it wasn't quite enough to... Uh, I need a bit more just to get the magic up. Sorry fella, hopefully you won't uh, expire on me, huh? Let's just head down, check out that house. Do, 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 do. No one here? No one here. So please let there be someone who's sleeping in this house to help me regenerate a bit of my ma magic because I might need it so really brother's wine not worth a vast amount pewter pot cupboard now we're talking here's the good stuff expensive wine uh, ha restore health that goes in my meat shakes I'll take care of the night eye because while my night eye does sort of work, it seems to go on and off a lot. It's a bit unreliable. Another steel shield. I'll take it. Some nice ingredients. Uh, a novice's pestle and mortar. A couple of potions. Book on Morrowind. Eh. Take those. Handbill. Nothing particularly fantastic there. Now, uh, this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna end up stealing the bowl, aren't I? Yes. There we go. Oh, I hate. Sometimes, Oblivion's grabbing thing is not good. Fundamentals of alchemy? No, that doesn't actually help me very much. I was hoping you might teach me some alchemical skill. Oh, I'm very close to overladen. Um, let's see if I can just uh, get rid of that bowl a moment. You know, 
there we go. We'll get rid of the ball. Ah! Come on, escape. There you go. Yes, I would like to feed. I'd like to open the chest upstairs. That generally means I need to eat someone. There we go. Oh, I've only got two chests to that. How much can I eat off this guy without killing him? I need to start trying to use the control X actually. How does the control because there's another way of doing this, isn't there? I think it's this one. Or oh, X. No, that didn't work. Oh god. I just cast it on him. I did not want to cast on him. That was not wise. Let's try munching again. Hopefully it does. I don't know if it kill if it's gonna kill him. Because we've drained quite a bit of blood off him. Let's see. Uh, that was not joy making. Yes, I need to figure out um how that feeding works. I'm sure there's a way I can feed more iron boots. Oh, I'm going to be over encumbered, aren't I? Yes, yes. Uh, magical ability. Ease burden. I can't cast that. Fantastic. Um, we might be dropping a repair hammer or something. We've got loads of repair hammers. Things like that. Is there anything like that I can drop? Yeah, let's drop one of the repair hammers. Here we go, and we're good. Suddenly we can walk again, as if by magic. So, we're good, we're good. No one would ever notice we were here. And that will be it for this episode. When we come back, we will be selling to Ongar and probably investigating a bit more of Raylan Drelas. So join us again next time. Like and subscribe as always. Thanks a lot.